Good morning, folks. We'll take a look at space weather, two big earthquakes, some different weather events, and a fantastic paper that will probably get this video tagged with that absurd UN climate change banner. But we start with our star, and we find the last 24 hours was relatively quiet in terms of eruptions, solar flares, solar wind, and geomagnetic conditions. But the sunspot situation has surged over the last 24 hours, already had a fair number of active regions, but the growth of a leading group and the rotation of the big groups from the incoming limb now have our star peppered with umbral cores. Solar flares have a good chance of increasing today. We'll have eyes on it. Big earthquake struck Indonesia this morning. Luckily, it was very deep at the transition zone of the mantle, which hopefully lessened the surface impact of that seismicity. I am also hoping that our remarks a couple days ago about above average foreshock signals on the west coast of North America leads only to this and nothing more. Six pointer struck yesterday off the coast. Luckily, didn't cause much damage as it was out to sea. Do you guys remember the March 14th morning show where we covered the story about snow piling up and causing homes to explode? I had never heard anything like that and many of you also expressed concern, confusion, and suspicion. Well, here we are again a month later and the same kind of report is coming out of California. Weather Channel covering that one and now we have to take a closer look at these scenarios in general. Definitely concerning. Major flood event continuing in Florida. Hard to believe some of the photos I saw yesterday an entire day after the rain event took place. Hopefully, relief is coming today. Good article on a powerful cyclone that just hit northwest Australia. Broke a wind speed record at one of the islands just off the coast. The storm moved quickly onto land and is mostly dissipated now. Last but not least, what an excellent paper here on climate forcing. They go over how the mainstream global warming story requires ignoring a lot of reality and conclude that even a slight inclusion of some of those factors, like solar activity or peculiar climate anomaly periods, puts a lot of focus on the sun in terms of blame for Earth's changing climate condition. Three cheers for this one. Folks, we're about a day away from the release of the second issue of Observer Review. Sign up now before it comes out, and you will get both this month and last month's issue included. Link is found below the video. Right now, it's one of the best ways to support the Observers. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of other links below as well. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.